sometimes buildings are named after people, but you have no feeling about the person who it's named after. Michelle was an adventurer, and she loved life, and she wanted to live it. She was always a very, very active person from when she was very little. She liked trying new things. She liked meeting new people. She tried very hard to keep up with Wayne. And since he was five years older, that was pretty hard to do. Michelle was just full of life, full of personality. She knew what she wanted and where she wanted to go. We're a very tight-knit family, not just with our own family, but extended family and friends. And so she knew what it was like to have that kind of belonging feeling. She was the youngest child. You know, she's she wanted to be around a lot of people. And for me, that is vitally important for you to understand who Michelle was in order for you to understand what the purpose of Michelle's place is really all about. In our family, Michelle was the first one that we dealt with a serious illness and an illness like cancer. So, you know, we, we were brand new to it. I was living in Michigan at the time and I got the call from Michelle to tell me that she had breast cancer. And like, it makes you think back on what, you know, that fear and shock and everything else that, that goes through your mind, right? Like, it, like the disbelief. We were married in October of 99 and we lost her in July of 2000. I think one of the most important things about Michelle battling cancer was she never let the cancer define her. She's like, this is my story. This is my journey. What it didn't do is it didn't change Michelle. Michelle changed her plans. She had new things to think about and that kind of stuff. But, but Michelle's approach to that was, okay, so how do I take this in the experiences that I'm going through and use it to go help more people? Michelle did not want others to go through treatment and not have answers and not have the resources that were needed. And so we needed to make sure that that could go on even though she was not here. I think it's given another um, avenue of wellness to the community that we didn't have. For sure, we did not have. We don't treat cancer, but we try to make the journey easier while you're going through it. Everybody's story is important, not just Michelle's, but she told her story so you can tell yours. If you would have said to me, hey, so in the future, you're gonna buy a building, a $3 million building, um, and you're gonna open the region's only cancer resource center, I would have told you you're crazy. It's kind of unbelievable um, where we started and where we've come. When I look back, it's like looking at a kaleidoscope. I mean, all the pieces were seen floating around and then they just slowly came together. We didn't grow suddenly, you know, to the size we are today. It took years of learning where we're going. And truly the driving force is Michelle herself, you know. She had such a strong will and commitment that people needed to be helped. That to me is the one thing that just sort of binds us all together is is that spirit of hers. Michelle has saved thousands of lives, impacted thousands more. Um, it's amazing what a legacy they've, they've built and they've created in her honor. We want everybody to be able to come here. We want everybody who's facing cancer to know that they have a place to go, that they can feel safe, that they can get understanding and empathy and know that you know there's people there that understand what they're going through and, and can help them. That's what the patient navigator does. They're kind of like the business side of let's get things going but they have that nurturing 
loving side to make sure that you feel your hand is being held as you're walking through this journey. I look at the people who come into Michelle's place and that we are working with and say, we have come the right direction. Everything that you could possibly need is going on in this building and it's surrounded in love by the staff in this organization that it just comes pouring out the door the minute you open it. People come in so scared, um, sad, and they always leave happy. They always leave better than they came. And that for me is, is, is everything. We are serving thousands of people every year but there's thousands more that we, that we need to be able to get to. We can't be done until there's no more need for our services. We have to continue to, to grow and adapt and develop. Both Marilyn and me miss Michelle a lot, but on the other hand, her legacy is, is moving forward and I really feel good that we're, we're doing what she wants us to do. It's just hard to put into words for me at least, uh, you know, just how fulfilling it has been. I'm very thankful for um, the support of the family and for sure the support of the staff and the volunteers. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making Michelle's dream come true.